folks, welcome back to Rule of Thumb. I thought I would bring you back for a recipe on the fly. Uh, this is something I haven't tried before. I'm kind of making it up as I go along. And uh, I thought I'd bring you along for the process. So what happened was I had some leftover butternut squash from the recipe that I already showed you folks. Um, so I have about three cups here. I have a leftover pie shell from the bourbon chocolate pecan pie that you folks have seen. And I thought, well, I got leftover squash, I got leftover pie shell. Sounds like I should make some sort of pumpkin pie. So that's what I'm going to do. So I got, like I said, just about three cups. Um, if you saw the butternut squash recipe, you know I had also put turkey bacon in it. I ran this through my food processor, blended it until it was smooth. I figured, hey, if they can put bacon on donuts, I can put bacon in my squash pie. So I left it right in there, blended it up, and we're going to be good to go. So I got that. I got one cup of sugar. I went half uh, cane sugar and half brown sugar. I got four eggs. I got a can of sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to do probably a teaspoon of vanilla and probably two teaspoons of this apple pie spice from Penzi's. It's got china cinnamon orange cinnamon, nutmeg, mace, and cloves. So that's what I'm going to use for my spice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed together. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to put this in the shell. Okay folks, that was pretty simple. I got that all mixed together. I have the pie crust rolled out and in my pan here. Now I have a pretty deep pan, so that's why I've, I thought I'd be okay with this amount. If I got too much here, then I'll just have to hold off. But oh, looks like we're going to be okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one. All right. Love the look of that, and it smells wonderful. Um, and I just think, you know, like if there's a little bit of that background of the savory in there plus the sweet. I think it's gonna be delicious. So. What I'm gonna do is pop this in the oven. I got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. My guess at this point is we're probably looking at about 55 to 60 minutes, but I will bring you folks back when we get to get to the done point. Basically what we're going to do is look for it to just start to set in the middle. You still want a little jiggle. Um, so when we get to that point, I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Hi folks, welcome back. So our pie has come out of the oven and it looks fantastic. Um, still really hot but if you can see let me grab my uh, my pot holder here um, can you just see how the how the middles just set you know so it's still got a little jiggle but it's set so it um, smells fantastic it looks fantastic it is a full pie there's no question about that um, so, we're going to let this cook cool for a little while, and we will come back and cut a piece and try it and see if we've got a success. Hi folks, welcome back. I just wanted to bring you back in for a shot of the finished pie. I mean, that's a pretty tasty looking pie to me. Um, looks like a good old-fashioned deep dish pumpkin pie. The proof, I guess, will be in the taste. So, here we go. Like I said, bringing it along for a learning experience here, folks. Never tried it myself. Mmm. Okay. Yes, this is... I'm going to put this down here. This is... Pumpkin pie on a different level. So, you still got that sweet, that creamy, that, you know, warm spices. You got just the slightest hint of background flavor from that turkey bacon that was blended in there. You get a little kick from the ginger. I mean, well, I just lost my fork full here. I mean, this is, this is serious, folks. Mmm. Yes. 
So, what we've learned here, don't be afraid to use things in a non-traditional way. If you have leftovers, think outside the box. I had some squash. I thought, well, it's kind of like pumpkin. Oh, but it's got bacon in it. Well, they put bacon on donuts. You know, I rationalized my way into trying it. I'm glad I did. Now I know I have the option in the future if I need to use up some ingredients. And that's what I like to bring you folks along for. So, I hope you like this. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Come back and see us soon. And as always, I hope you had a great day.